This is CBS. This way to bear country. You'll know when you're there. As soon as you enter, you'll feel like a bear. A great grizzly bear. A Berenstain bear. We are the Berenstain Bears. Mama. Papa. Mr. Brother. We appreciate each other. We live in a squeak little tree. Mama, Papa, Sister, and me. Big Bob Bear. Professor Owl. Oh, uh, who's tea, honey butter? I'm the mayor. And lots, lots more. Bears galore. You may think that this starts our show. Well, it does. The Berenstain Bears will return after these messages. When you get hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System. When you master Rob the Video Robot and meet the challenge of gyromite. When you shoot the light-sensing zapper, when you play the system with so many arcade hits, you're playing with power. The Nintendo Entertainment System Deluxe Set. Batteries not included. Super Mario Brothers and other games sold separately. There's a secret land of fantasy. Introducing shimmers, each pair sold separately. The clover and apples, the glisten and glow, and meadow with fauna, part girl and part doe, with sequin and flashes, wind bell and whiskey, you too can pretend to live in the land of shimmer, shimmer. Shimmers, clover with dapples, other pairs sold separately. They're new from Kenner. And now, back to the Berenstain Bears. <laughs> take out of the library today. Same thing I took out last time. Mysteries. Spooky mysteries. The spookier, the better. Hmm. Mr. Macho. What are you taking out? More storybooks? Once upon a time, there was a happy little dandelion. You give me that book. She was as yellow as the sun and twice as happy. Then one day... Brother, you give me that book. Take it. I'm not sure I could have stood the excitement. Good afternoon, Cubs. How did you like your book, sister? They were very nice, Miss Bearson. And how were yours, brother? They were lean, mean, and really keen. Hmm. The case of the weird woodpecker. Nah. The case of the dancing donuts. Uh-uh. Haven't you found anything yet? Hold your horses. Hold your horses. The case of the crying cave. Hmm. It all happened on an overnight camping trip. A strange, terrifying overnight camping trip. It's a good thing I didn't say boo. Hmm, been to the library. Wonderful. Fine activity reading broadens your horizons, nourishes the brain. And what are these books about? Huh, I think I'll watch a little news. Have to keep up on world events, you know. From the oceans to the seas, to the forests, back to me. Today's news today. Well, mine's called The Three Pretty Little Kittens, and it's about... Mine's a mystery, a spooky mystery. It's called... Shh! We mustn't disturb Papa while he's watching the news. Once upon a time, there were three pretty kittens. I am the prettiest, without a doubt, said the first little kitten. 
I have the longest whiskers and the pinkest nose. Not so, said the second kitten. Surely I'm the prettiest. My coat is as smooth as the finest silk. Step aside, please, because I'm the prettiest, said the third little. Pretty all right, pretty boring. Wow, golly. How's your book? Ah, uh, ah, uh, terrific. What's it about? Well, it's about these guys who go on an overnight camping trip. Their names are Eddie, Teddy, and Tom, and they're spelunkers. See, that's guys who explore caves. And anyway, say, would you like me to read it to you? Okay. That sure is a spooky looking cave, said Eddie, as he and his two friends stared up at the strange looking cave in the side of an old craggy mountain. Yeah, said Teddy, it sort of looks like a mouth with teeth. Come on, said Tom, can't let a few crooked teeth scare us. They climbed toward the gaping mouth of rock. The weird cave was even spookier inside than out. I don't like the looks of this place, said Eddie. Not one little bit. It looks like it's full of monsters, cave monsters. Well, said Teddy, at least let's get these backpacks off and rest a minute. Then it happened. The cave began to cry with a terrible blood curdling wailing sound. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't want to hear anymore. Sister is a scaredy bear. Sister is a scaredy. Now, now. That'll be enough of that. Now, sweetie, you mustn't let your imagination run away with you like that. It's only a book. <laughs> yeah, it's only a book. A stupid, dopey, scary book. Hey, sis. What? Your book's upside down. All right now, into bed. Let's settle down. Good night. Sleep tight. Good night. Night, Mama. Night, Papa. Good night. Good night. It sure is dark. No darker than usual. And I think I hear the crying cave. Ah, uh, that's just an old hooty owl. It's like Papa says, you're just letting your imagination run away with you. Next thing, you'll be seeing cave monsters. I, I am seeing cave monsters. Great, big, horrible cave monsters. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You're letting your imagination run away with you. There's nothing over there but the clothes tree and the old chest of drawers. Cave monsters! I saw them! And I know they're not cave monsters because I made them myself. And I heard them! I know I heard them! They went, ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you know anything about this young fellow? It's like Papa said. She just let her imagination run away with her. Uh-huh. Well, let's just put it this way. If there's any more ooh, 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 it's gonna be followed by a little ow, ow, ow. All right. Let's settle down and get some sleep. Your papa and I are going to bed now, so we'll be nearby and... Oh, yes. We'll leave the light on for the time being. Thank you, Mama. Leave the lights on? What about me? I can't sleep with the lights on. They keep me awake. Well, that's just too bad. Help! Cave monsters! Mama, Papa, come quick! Oh, thank you, Mama. Thank you. Gee whiz. Well, you'll just have to make the best. Let's 
sleep. Help! Can't sleep. Help! Can't sleep. Help! Can't sleep. Help! Can't sleep. I don't ever want to go through a night like that again. <sighs> See here. Say, I think I have an idea. Sister, come with me. Where are we going, Papa? Up to the attic. The attic? But it's dark up there, even in the daytime. I know, sweetie, but there's something I want to show you. And anyway, there's nothing so special about the dark. It's just part of nature, like the light. It's that imagination of yours that makes the dark seem spooky sometimes. I wish I didn't have an imagination. Don't say that. A lively imagination is one of the best things a cub can have. It's imagination that lets us make paintings, create beautiful music, invent inventions. The trick is to take charge of your imagination, not let it take charge of you. <gasps> imagination, behave yourself. <gasps> Last warning, Imagination. Here it is. My old nightlight. The one I used when I was a cub and had a little trouble falling asleep in the dark. You mean you were afraid of the dark, too? Oh, sure. Most of us are at one time or another. Brother, how did that book turn out? Are you sure you want me to tell you? Yes. Well, they got out of that cage so fast, they forgot their backpacks and had to go back. And when they got back, they figured out the mystery. There was a hole in the top of the cave, and the crying was the sound of the wind blowing across the hole. Like when you blow across the top of a bottle, like this. You know, I was pretty disappointed by the way the case of the crying cave ended. Oh? Why's that? Because I was hoping that the whaling would be a really scary monster. Yikes! <gasps> hey, what are you trying to do? Scare a guy? Brother, you're just going to have to do something about that imagination of yours. The Berenstain Bears will return after these messages. Peace be in prize, each sold separate. These furry balls are off the wall. The bubbles love to party. A soft to friend, the fun I know. And pop goes the bubble, pop goes the bubble, pop goes the bubble. When you won Popple Popple, you let the fun out of the bag. Popple characters come in different sizes and colors. PC and prize, each sold separately. From the tell. You want to know a secret about my child? Everyone thinks I'm the best mommy. They say, you keep us so well dressed. These gorgeous clothes make it fun. Sure, I spend a lot of time on her hair, but it's a pleasure. And my child's been standing by herself from the beginning. So I can't take all the credit for being a best mommy. But everybody thinks so. From the wonderful world of my child dolls, each sold separately. This is our bus. This is our bus driver. And this is fun. Fruit corners through roll ups. We love a fruit roll up. Ooh. They make a finger flip. Cool. We love a fruit roll up. Da, 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 da. We love the little fruit. Let's have more. We a fruit fun. Roll the fruit one. We love the crazy things they do. We love a fruit roll up. Introducing the great big taste of new watermelon fruit roll ups. And now, back to the Berenstain Bears.
Let's see now. First, I'll take a look under the step. Hmm, not there. Good morning, my dear. Good morning, Papa. What are the cubs up to this morning? Oh, they're playing hide and seek. It's good to see how brother and sister get along. Most of the time, anyway. <laughs> yes, but I do wish sister had somebody her own age. A little girl her own age to play with. Brother has cousin Freddy and the other boys. 510 sister behind the hollyhock! 510 sister! In clear, in clear! <laughs> <laughs> I think I've had enough of hide-and-go-seek. Fine. What do you want to do next? I know what. You wait right there. Okay, up off the stump. Because what we're going to do now is play tea party. All right, Dolly. You sit here. You sit here, snoozer dog. And let's see now. Tea party? Hey, <laughs> give me a break. Okay, we're all set. You sit there and be the papa, and I'll sit here and be the mama. Hey, give me a break, sis. Boys don't play tea party. Why, if Cousin Freddy or any of the other guys saw me, I'd never hear the end of it. You mean you're not going to play? It's all set up. You really ought to find another girl to play tea party with. Besides, I'm going skateboarding with Freddy. All right for you! You tea party pooper. Hmm. Well, may as well practice a little jump rope. Well, it happened again. What's that? Brother skateboarded off to Cousin Freddy's and left Sister all by her lonesome. Oh, I wouldn't worry. She's got her forest friends, Frog and Butterfly, to play with. Frogs and butterflies are all very well, but it's not the same as having a cub friend your own age. Look! A moving truck. Somebody must be moving into that empty tree house down the road. It certainly would be nice if they had a little girl sister's age. You never know. Hey, look at that! Somebody moving into the empty tree house. I wonder if they have any cubs. That was quite a trip. Sure feels good to get out of the car. Hi, welcome to the neighborhood. Hello there. Thanks for the welcome. What's your name? I'm Sister Bear. I'm six years old and I live just down the road. Hi, I'm Lizzie Bruin. And this is my papa and mama, Mr. and Mrs. Bruin. I'm six years old too. Nice to meet you, my dear. Now, if you cubs will excuse us, we have things to see to. May I try your jump rope? I can do red hot pepper, cinnamon, salt, mustard, vinegar, onion, ginger, red hot pepper. Well, I can jump to a thousand. I can do a thousand and one, a thousand and two, a thousand and three. We'll just see about that. Let's have a jump off right here and now. Let's not, and say we did. Say, isn't that a playground over there? Well, yeah. Last one there is a rotten egg. That new family does have a little girl. Oh? She certainly is a lively little thing. She may be just what sister needs. Race it to the top of the jungle, Jim. You're on. <sighs> Seesaw time. pushing each other on the swings. How would you like to go up in a swing? Higher! Up in the sky so blue. Higher! Oh, I do think it the pleasantest thing that ever a cub can do. Higher! Hey, wildflowers! 
Let's pick some for our mamas. Right. Yeah, how is sister making out with her new little friend? Well, they certainly have led each other on a merry chase. See? I told you there was nothing to worry about. Hmm. They seem to be heading home and... How nice. They each have a bouquet of wild flowers. Here's some flowers, Mama. For me? How thoughtful. It was Lizzie Bruin's idea. Lizzie Bruin? Yeah, she just moved in up the road. Oh? What's she like? Here, let me put these in water. Well, let's see. Her name is Lizzie, she's six years old, she's an only cub, and she's a little bossy. Oh? I caught some glimpses of you out the window and you certainly seem to be having fun. Oh, yes, I had a lot of fun. A little bossy and a little braggy. President, sister, uh, just a moment. Sister, it's for you. Hello, this is Sister Bear. Hi, this is Lizzie Bruin. Want to come over and play school? Okay. Bring some of your dolls and stuffed animals. Mine aren't unpacked yet. Okay, see you in a couple minutes. <laughs> are still fixing up and putting away. So we're gonna play in here. Who'd you bring? I brought my best doll and stuffed animals. And this is my special teddy that I've slept with every night since I was a baby. Hey, this is going to be fun. Please be seated, sister. It's time for your lessons. First, I'm gonna teach you the alphabet. The first letter of the alphabet is A. Now, just a minute. Who said you were going to be the teacher? When I play school, I'm the teacher. And not only that, I already know the alphabet. Sister Bear, if you don't sit down this minute, I'm going to keep you after school. Is that so? Well, if you don't give me that pointer, I'm going to keep you after school. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. <laughs> Here, keep your old pointer. I'm never gonna play with you again. Never is too short for me. Good, I'll just take my dolls and go home. Sisters Matt and I'm glad. Lizzie, Lizzie in a tizzy. Sisters Matt and I'm glad. Lizzie, Lizzie in a tizzy. Back so soon? I'm never gonna play with that Lizzie Bruin again. She's much too braggy and bossy. I don't need her to play school with or anything else. It's much better playing by herself. When you play by yourself, you can do anything you want without worrying about that Lizzie Bruin. That's true. Of course, there are some things you really can't do very well by yourself. Like what? Well, you'd have a pretty hard time pushing yourself on a swing. And I'd like to see you ride a seesaw all by yourself. Most games like hopscotch and jacks take two to play. And it certainly is nice to have someone you can laugh and giggle with. <laughs> Maybe so, but Lizzie is so bossy and braggy. Why does she have to be teacher when we play school? It seems to me that Lizzie isn't the only cub around here that's a little braggy and bossy sometimes. And of course, there is one thing you can do much better by yourself. What's that, Mama? Be lonesome. Somebody at the door. Why, hello. When Sister took all her dolls and went home, she forgot her teddy. And well, I knew it was her favorite, that she slept with it since she was a baby, and thought she might miss it. Why, thank you, Lizzie. That was very thoughtful of you. Thank you very much. And you can be teacher if you want to. Or we can take turns. 
terrific! Last one back to your garage is a rotten egg. <sighs> Cubs. <laughs> Now, these messages. This just in. Captain Crunch captured by Soggies. We're famous. If you help Free the Captain, you get a chance to win a $100 share of the million-dollar reward in the Free the Captain sweepstakes. Specially marked boxes give you three games with secret phone numbers to tell you which place, which store, which key frees him. Your parents can help you call. Thousands will enter. Answer right, you could be one of 10,000 winners. To enter free, write Free the Captain Box 3100, Sios of New York, 11775. My kids all got me out of this crunch. Uh, I mean, Sog. There's only one, only one. Three sardines, great tasting fun. When you punch open one, there's only one, only one. Three sardines, great tasting fun. When you punch open one, lemonade, apple, orange, baked potato skins in a crispy, crunchy chip. Potato skins got baked potato appeal because they're made with potatoes and skins that are real. The Keebler elves make potato skins with real potatoes and real potato skins for a flavor with whole baked potato appeal. Cheddar cheese and bacon, sour cream and chives, tasty baked potato, you won't believe your eyes. They're made with potatoes and skins that are real. Potato skins from Keebler, baked potato appeal. Inside this soft rubber ball is a neat new friend. Party and Puff Ball Popple sold separately. See? Pop goes to Popple. Inside out they twist and shout. <laughs> Popples love to party. <laughs> Girls. You'll have a ton of fuzzy fun. Pop goes to Popple. Pop goes to Popple. Pop goes when you unpop a Popple, you let the fun out of the bag. Nine Popple characters, including Party and Puff Ball, come in different sizes and colors. Each Popple sold separately from Mattel. Wow! A new punch from Kool-Aid that kids will really blow for. New Strawberry Falls Punch. A refreshing blend of strawberry and banana flavors. Everybody's falling for it. Even me. New Strawberry Falls Punch. Here's more Kool-Aid fun to fall for. Mighty GoBots and Lovable Pound Puppies Posables. You can get them free with proofs of purchase from Kool-Aid. Catch this Sunday's paper for details. Because these great toys are going to go fast. Here in the land of was they're having twice the fun Cause every single thing is really two in one A little bit of this, a little bit of that And when you add it up, you get a lot of less Ooh, they got originality Living with split personality With the wazzles Ooh, yeah With the wazzles Oh, yeah Two times the fun Now, this message. When you get hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System. When you master Rob the Video Robot. And meet the challenge of Gyromite. When you shoot the light-sensing Zapper. When you play the system with so many arcade hits. You're playing with power. 
The Nintendo Entertainment System Deluxe Set. Batteries not included. Super Mario Brothers and other games sold separately. Once a person discovers new strawberry Newtons, he doesn't want to share them with anyone. No! Silly! New strawberry Newtons. We got a game going! Full of real chewy fruit. Wanna play? Tucked inside a very quiet cookie. Wanna pick? Mmm. Mmm. Then bring out the Newtons. Delicious Newtons cookies. So fruit chewy, you'll want them for yourself. We'll let you win! It's Appleberry time again in the good old land of Was. And it's a well-known fact that Wuzzles are just wild about Appleberries. One for you, one for me. One for you and one two for me. One for you and one two three for me. <laughs> Apparently, if you're going to put all your appleberries in one basket, you better keep an eye on Rhinoki. Thanks, Ellaroo. It's practically raining appleberries. Did you say raining? Maybe it's a storm. Could be there's a monster storm coming. That's when those big Condosaurus monsters come out. I've seen them before. Ah! Look, look, look. Ah! What did I tell you? It's a condo the con the Condosaurus! Ah! <laughs> So you're always seeing monsters. But, 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 Bumble, that's a condo, a condo. Well, it was there. I saw it. I saw it as plain as, as plain as... This is another fine appleberry jam you got me into. It's like making appleberry jam the hard way. But its color is so becoming. Yeah, it's becoming sticky. You know, you got to do something about your wild imagination. My imagination? What do you call that over there? Call what? There's nothing over there but a lot of yucca wood trees. You call those weird-looking creatures yucca wood trees? You've been seeing too many monster movies. If you don't mind me saying it, it's all in your mind, Moosel, wherever that is. You... Hey, I know a dino monkus when I see one. I'm gonna go where it's safe. Oh, no, you don't. You've messed things up enough for one day. You better pick your appleberries over here, away from the rest of us, where we'll be safe. That's all the thanks I get for trying to save everybody from a fate worse than the... Oh, now what? <coughs> That's a water saurus. It's a real one. We're surrounded by these monsters. Run for your lives! It's throwing boulders at us! He's done it again! Clincher. I've had it up to here with all your phony monsters, Musso. Look what you've done. You could have damaged the dam. You're a nice guy, Musso, but your imagination should be locked up. A wild imagination can be dangerous when taken too seriously. Yeah, it's becoming a real problem, Musso. Mmm, you got a bad case of monster mania. Oh, well. Let's just forgive and forget. I can't handle controversy. Right. Let's pick some more appleberries. It's still early. Oh, good. Let's go, everyone. Up and at those appleberries. Me too. Me too, huh? No way. Nowhere. No how. Uh, 
Uh. Don't call us. We'll call you, Musil, when we need some high-risk danger and excitement. <laughs> you better go home, Musil, where we'll all be safer. I'm sorry, but Bumble Lion's right. That boulder scare rattled my already frazzled nerves. Bye, Musil. I'll bring you a nice appleberry pie later. Nobody wants me around anymore. I can't help it if I got a big imagination. I just gotta get these monsters out of my head or nobody's ever gonna like me. I won't even like myself. And I'm my own best friend. You know, a mind is a terrible thing to waste. Especially on monsters. <laughs> What's that? Another monster? Whoop! I almost did it again. Musso! Yoo-hoo! Musso! Are you home? Hi, Musso! I brought you a nice, fresh appleberry pie. Wow! Oh, thank you, Butterbear. I just love appleberry pie. Especially your appleberry pie. You better put it on the window to cool for a while. It's still fresh and hot. Can you stay for a while and visit? I, I won't even mention that like, you know what. I'd love to, Moosel, but I really have to get back to town and finish my baking. Is everybody still mad at me? Oh, not really. But you could try to do something about your big imagination, you know. I know. But I'm really working on I really am, really. I know you are. Goodbye, Moosel. Bye, Butterbear. I will try. I really will, really. No more monsters. No more. No monsters for me. Uh-oh. I see it, but I don't believe it. My imagination has run off with my pie. Well now, Musil has to deal with two problems at the same time. An imaginary monster eating a real pie. And now, this message. Well, I know I saw that monster, and I certainly don't have an overactive imagination. Or do I? So what really happened to my pie? I put it right there, then I walked to the door with Butterbear, and then I heard, and then, and then a monster got it! Uh-oh, there I go again, monster, this monster, that I gotta quit doing that right now. But what happened to my pie? Hmm? Oh, this is so confusing. Maybe I'll feel better after a cool dip. I'm a bit confused. Is this a real dinosaur eel combination or a genuine imitation? Yay! Hold on, Musso. Wait just a minute. What's a big rush, anyway? Nothing is really happening, right? Right. I just have to remember that big thing behind me doesn't bother me at all, because it's only an optical illusion. You know, I think I'm finally cured. <coughs> Yay! Oops. Almost lost it for a minute there. Listen, fella, you know, you're just imaginary. You're all in my head. So, please, go away, will you? <laughs> Say, that's one mean-looking tooth. You're lucky it's not real, or it would really ache. <laughs> 
Now here's a monster with a serious problem. But is it real or imaginary? Actually, I'm not sure myself anymore. I guess you want that imaginary tooth pulled out, right? <laughs> now look, big fella, you don't really have a toothache. In fact, you aren't even real. This monster believes in the old saying. If at first you don't succeed, cry, cry again. <laughs> okay, Mr. Imaginary Monster, I'll try. But just this one time, then you'll have to control your imagination like me. Okay? What am I saying? How can I pull a tooth that's only in the head of a monster that isn't even real? There is a fine line between reality and fantasy. And you have just erased the line. Boy, just wait till the gang hears about this one. What am I saying? No, I've changed my mind. That's what got me in all this trouble in the first place. Sorry, Mr. Monster. I'd like to help, but you are all in my head. You are simply unreal. Nothing personal. Maybe I need a new vocal coach. That noise is enough to scare the jokes out of me. sounds can mean only one thing, trouble. The dam has a crack in it! What's that awful noise, Bumble Lion? The dam has sprung a leak! Oh, I thought it was something serious. The dam has sprung a leak? Well, that's serious! It's the dam, all right, and we better get out there and see what we can do. Slap some logs on this dam. Come on, Ellaru. Another good try, Ellaru, but it's not working. Oh, look, Bumble Lion. Beaver Coons cutting logs out of trees. Good thought, Ellaru. Those trees are just what we need to shore up the dam. We're saved! Whee! Uh, excuse me, Bumble Lion, but how are we going to get all those logs over to the dam? Oh, yeah, an important detail. Yeah! It'll be easier to move the dam up here with tweezers. Look, if that dam breaks, it's all over for us. We've got to do something fast. But, but, but I'm worrying as fast as I can. Good, then I don't have to worry. Quiet, I'm searching my mind for a solution. This could be a long way. I got it! We just need rope. Good, strong rope to haul those logs down here. That wasn't worth waiting for. There's some strong rope in the storehouse back in town. How fast can you get there and back? I don't know. That's a long ride back to town. I'm out of here. Obviously, this situation is a lot more serious than it's cracked up to be. So here's our Moosel, still busy trying to separate reality from fantasy. And I must confess, I'm having some difficulty myself. You know, Mr. Monster, if you're just in my overactive imagination, how could you believe in such big 
keep track. And how could you scare off that goof out if you're only an illusion? It's unreal how really real you look. No, no. Oh, you poor guy. That toothache must be really hurting. Even if it isn't real. <laughs> all right, all right. I'll see what I can do. But don't tell anybody about this, promise? Okay, we'll need a rope. A good, strong rope to pull that tooth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, we'll find some rope in town. Uh-huh. Now, don't take it personally if I don't speak to you when I run into my friends. They don't understand this imaginary stuff. Where is everybody? I finally get control of my imagination, and there's nobody around to appreciate it. No. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, where can I find some rope? I got it. The storehouse. if I pull this off or out. Sorry, but we're going to have to do this without a painkiller. Nobody's ever going to believe this, you know. I don't even believe it myself. And I'll believe anything. Hey, Muscle, I'm desperate for that rope. Oh, hi, Rhinoki. Where is everybody anyway? <laughs> What's with you, Rhinoki? You look like you just saw a monster. Well, if that guy behind you isn't a monster, he should see a doctor. I'm gone! Hey, he's no monster. He's just a mirage. What's that? Uh-oh, the dam is cracking. So that's where everyone is. Oh, I've got to go there, too, to... <laughs> but I've got real problems now, so let's hurry. Okay, <laughs> that does it. The rest is up to you. Go for it. The gang needs help at the dam. At last, there's Riney. Hooray! <laughs> Where's the rope? A funny thing happened to me in town. I saw one of Moose's monsters. Forget the jokes, Rhinoki. This is serious. Well, I hate to admit it, but I really saw a monster. Moosel's imagination is becoming contagious. I know you think I'm crazy, and this is the first time I've agreed with you. Okay, so where's the rope you went for? Are you kidding? I was lucky to get away with my life. Here's Moosel now. Hi, gang. I came to help as soon as I saw the dam weakening. Well, I hope you're satisfied. Now you've got Rhinoki seeing monsters. No, sir, not me. I haven't seen any real monster. That's Rhinoki's problem now. Listen, Rhinoki. Uh-oh. I never thought I'd say this, but it's a monster! Run for it! Run for it, everyone! Save yourself, Boosel! Run! 
<laughs> Looks like the last laugh was on me. It's been nice knowing you, Butter Bear. Me too, Ellaru. Ah, uh, relax, everybody. There's no monster. You're just gonna have to learn to control your imagination. Where have I heard that before? Hey, Muso, this monster is for real. He is? Are you really for real? Uh huh. Really? Well, you're the nicest monster I ever imagined. Admit. Hey, the dam! It's about to bust. Mr. Monster, you gotta help us save the dam. Will you please? Mr. Monster. I never would have thought a monster could be such a helpful friend. You are the greatest. Gee, we don't know how to thank you. You saved our dam and our town, too. Yeah, you showed us what a real friend we have in Musil. Well, I guess you want to go back to your own home, right? Mm-hmm. Well, thanks a lot, pal. See you around, I think. Climbed right into its mouth and I pulled that tooth, this, this very one that you see right here. I just, just pulled it right out of its mouth with my own two little bare hands. I did, I did that. Once or twice, I even thought it was going to swallow me. But that didn't stop me. Well, Moosel, I guess that's the tooth. The whole tooth and nothing but the tooth. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen the monsters that got away. Once again, all is well in the land of was. Well, at least as well as it always was. And now, this message. Free ride, pull! Okay, the McDonald's Happy Meal guy. Roger, hamburger, fries, and soft drink, all oh, regular size. How do you like the ride so far? Ride? What ride? Whoa! <laughs> You can travel into the future when you buy McDonald's Young Astronaut Space Happy Meal, each with one of four different space vehicles to collect for good times that are out of this world. Young Astronaut Space Happy Meal. You can collect all four at McDonald's. I've never seen those kind of puppies before. Are they new? Yeah, and they're so long. Let's rescue them. Pound puppies each sold separately. You're so huggable. They're very playful. Good catch, Sparky. And for three fifty more, you can send for a name tag, stickers, and owner certificate. Now you're really one of the family. Pound Puppy, you're my one and only puppy love. Two new puppies from the Pound Puppies collection, each sold separately from Tonka. <laughs> of Post Alphabets, Honeycomb, Super Golden Crisp, Cocoa and Fruity Pebble Cereal for instant winner game cards. I won. Or for free entry, write Box 4071, Blair, Nebraska, 68009. It's all you can haul. Ronald McDonald in Dreamy Breakfast. It's a good time. 
to see Ronald's dream. Time for breakfast, Bertie. Oh, boy, hotcakes. Hop in, McHotcakes. After him, Bertie. You betcha. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gotcha. Got you. Ronald. It's a good time. Ronald. Ronald's dreams and wow. a day. It's a good time. Breakfast fun with a friend. It's a good time for the great day. A dream come true. <laughs> It's a new hostess pudding pie, all chocolatey on top, yeah. and inside real vanilla pudding. Wow. Oh, so good. Can I have some? New hostess pudding pies. Mm. A crust you could eat all by itself, wow. and creamy vanilla pudding inside. Mm. Hostess makes real pudding taste really special. Creep. New hostess pudding pies make real pudding taste really special. Gotta try. Mmm. Everything all right in here? Yes, Muppet. Muppet Babies will return after these messages. Having 
a good time, kids? Yes, yes Mommy. Mommy. Fine, Mommy. Yeah, Mommy. Using the sandwich wrap to draw on the TV screen was a great idea. I'm glad you like it, Kermit. Are you lonely? Huh? Looking for that perfect friend? Then you should try Hal's Computer Friend Finder. Just send in $10 and tell us about the pal you'd like to have. And we'll find you the perfect friend. Hey, what a great idea. Yeah, I bet we could find a whole bunch of perfect new friends, huh, Nanny? Well, I don't know, Fozzie. Whoa, great idea. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. Listen, kids. Maybe you could... Uh, How much money do you have, Spooner? Sixteen cents. I got a nickel. I got ten. Dollars? Dollars? No, ten cents. How much is that one? Um, not enough, Gonzo. Oh. I've got an idea, kid. You're gonna give us the ten dollars? No, you don't need the ten dollars, Piggy. We no. don't? You can use Scooter's computer. Yeah, that's right. His computer can tell us who our perfect friends are. Just like on TV. That's right, Kermit. Try it out. I'll be back in a while, and you can introduce me to your new pals. All right. Who's going to go first? I am. What? I mean, I am going to let my sweet little piggy go first. <laughs> Thank you, Gonzo. Okay. Just give me the facts on your perfect pal, and I'll program him into my computer. Let's see. My perfect pal would be short, green, and handsome. Oh. I can almost see the sound. His name would be Kermit Marlowe, Private Eye. Hi, Hamster. What? Uh, uh, hi there, Piggy. What are you doing in those silly-looking clothes? They're not silly. They're grown up. Can't you tell? Um, yeah, sure. He was everything a girl could want in a frog. Fearless eyes. Powerful eyes. No! Strong. Real. Thanks. Uh, what can I do for you, ma'am? Um, well, I'm looking for excitement and romance. Relax. Your search is over. I know. Huh? Yep. I found him this morning. Excitement and romance. You did say you were looking for him, didn't you? <gasps> Get out of my imagination! Okay, okay. Sorry. Not you! Um, Kermit, you are the excitement and romance that I'm looking for. Who? I am? And so, after imagining a green frog with bigger brains, we headed across town. Suddenly, shots rang out in the night. What's going on? Oh, nothing. That's just Animal and his gang trying to get my billion dollar inheritance. What? My feet don't reach the pedals! How was I supposed to know he was a foot short of perfect? I decided I'd have to use my imagination to help him reach those pedals. Oh, thanks. That's much better. Okay, hang on! I think two bucks for gas ought to cover it. Oh, I'm second thought. Uh, let's just call it even. Keep the money. Oh, come back here, you! Ah! Why can't you be more romantic? Because I'm not perfect, Piggy. 
I'm just a frog! Who wants to go next? I will. My perfect friend would be a very funny comedian, like me. Look, Fozzie. Gee! Hey, you're Charlie Chaplin, aren't you? You're one of my all-time favorite comedians. Want to be my friend? I love the way he walks. Whoa! Charlie. You got anything to eat? Oh, I get it. Filet of salt. What a great joke, Charlie. <laughs> oh, I know just how it feels, Charlie. Whenever I tell a bad joke, I get hit with tomatoes. Sorry, I didn't mean your joke was bad, but maybe I could lend you some of my jokes. Uh, how about this one? What do you call a guy with a chicken on his head? A uh, 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 feather brain. Oh, I guess you heard that one. Wait a minute. I got a joke I know you'll just love. What did the seven dwarfs say when someone asked them what color snow was? Give up? They said, isn't snow white? Get it? <laughs> seven dwarfs, snow white. Waka, waka, waka! Whoa! Ouch! There's nothing worse than frozen tomatoes. What the, what the, hey! Oh, no! Help! Whoa! Oh! Oh, gosh! I don't know if this perfect friend business is such a good idea. Good idea! Whoa! Me try, me try. Animal, cut that out. Best friend, no. You break the computer. Best friend, wild, slimy, crazy. The talking part of this complete breakfast. Rice Krispies is always music to your ears. <laughs> you can rev up for action because Hot Wheels are here. They're fast-moving, high-performance speed machines. And one's free with one purchase of Rice Krispies. 
And now, back to Muppet Baby. <laughs> Jump rope! No animal! Not jump rope! Jump rope! What's all the racket in there? No! Dad! go bye-bye. Is everything all right in here? Yes, Mommy. Well, try to keep the noise down, okay? You almost got us in big trouble, animal. Sorry. I don't know about you guys, but I know exactly what makes a perfect friend. The perfect friend must be very intelligent, mathematical in thinking, and have tons of information at his fingertips. What happened? The screen went blank. I don't understand it. I entered all the right stuff. Hey, who are you? I'm Pal, your perfect friend. You programmed me yourself. I did? I mean, yeah, I did. I can play any game, answer any question. Why, I can do just about anything. I'm perfect. Listen, pal, how about a game of tic-tac-toe? My pleasure, friend. You go first. Uh, okay. <laughs> hey! You lose. But I didn't even play. Yes, but knowing you as I do, I predicted every one of your moves and placed my O's accordingly. You lose. That's no fun. Hmm. I know. Let's put together a jigsaw puzzle. <sighs> it's always best to put the borders together first. Don't bother. I've already solved the puzzle. What? Watch. Uh, that's no fair. I didn't even get a chance to find one piece. Why don't we forget about games and go to a party? Gosh, I didn't know computers like parties. Sure. Come on, friend. Okay, pal. Huh? Great party. Hey, friend. Yay, what a party. How about a bite to eat? I'll have a bit. Computer pals. Well, I don't need a stupid computer to find my perfect friend. I should use my imagination. My perfect friend would be very athletic, tall, muscular. Wow, a person could really get in shape here. Yeah, I could build muscles on my nose. <laughs> You Arnold Schwarzenhopper? Yeah, I mean, sheep and hunter? Uh, Schwarzen sniffer? Yeah, that's right. Are you ready for your workout? Sure we are! Let's go! Yeah! First, we'll do some chin-ups. Mm. 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 I can't mm. reach! Mm. Don't worry, mm. I'll fix it. Mm. Up, down, up, okay. down. Okay, here you go. Up, 
Okay, now it's barbell time. But we haven't even finished chin upping yet. Boy, I'm finished. Yeah, me too. All right, pick up those bars and start pumping. One, two, one, two, one, hey, two. That was one, easy two, enough. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. Hey, Rolf, I bet you can't lift the dumbbell. Sure I can. Watch. Hey, what are you doing? Lifting a dumbbell, silly. Oh, I knew what <laughs> that. Ready, guys? Yes. Some friend he turned out to be, Skeeter. Some muscle men are just too interested in themselves to have fun. Yeah. I guess you're right. I don't know about you guys, but my perfect friend would be pink and sweet and... Huh? Oh, no, you don't! I'm not having anything to do with your crazy imagination, Gonzo. And she'd have your blue eyes and blonde hair. Blank mind, the perfect canvas to create my perfect pig. What makes a good friend? Wait a minute. That's it. What's, What's it? it? Good friends are like good songs. They're all different, but always in harmony. <laughs> You're a blue weirdo with a funny nose. And you've got fur from your head to your toes. We like it that way. Nobody's perfect. Wake up green every single day. <laughs> well, I am kind of unique. Nobody's perfect. If you were just like me, think now for a week like with me. For each imperfect design and way, and that's perfectly okay. Nobody's perfect. 
we have things that we're nervous about. Well, that's the time we gotta stand up and shout. Hey, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Come on, Ron. Well, nobody's perfect. Well, that settles it then. There's no such thing as a perfect friend. Of course there is. We're all perfect friends, Piggy. You're right, Kermie. I don't believe it. Piggy hugged me. Gosh, maybe you and I are perfect friends, Skeeter. Of course we are, Scooter. We're twins. Uh, Gee, Ralph. Between your music and my jokes, we've got a lot in common. Yeah, and fleas, too. Huh? Oh. Hard. Oh. Friend. Thank you, animal. Well, kid, it looks like you found your perfect friends after all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. They were right under our noses all along, Nanny. She thinks, Gonzo. Best friend! And now, these messages. Just when the breakfast eaters thought they were safe. <laughs> Let me finish your breakfast. Soggy's return. Oh. Some pedos, Captain. This is a job for Crunch Power. Crunch away! Meanwhile... Come on, spring into action. There's breakfast to be found. Sog it. Surely breakfast is doomed, unless... Dry up, you soggies. Captain Crunch. Yes, yes, with his Captain Crunch cereal and crunch power that locks delicious sweet taste in, so it's tough to sog out. This is right up your alley. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, we bowled them over. Captain Crunch is a crunchy part of a balanced breakfast. Crunch power! I'll finish it yet! Skittles, bites of scandies. Oh, so Smooth, splurging. Snappy pie. Sassy, saving. Super orange, sneaking. Spunky lunch. Yeah. Colorful candy shells. Fruit flavors in the middle. Single-handed, bite-sized, candy-coated Skittles. Scrunch is fresh. Sharing, smile. Sweet strawberry. Sorry. Yeah. Taste the rainbow muffin flavors in Skittles. And now, back to Muppet Babies. <laughs> Vern, the most fun you can ever have at a playhouse is at Pee Wee's Playhouse. Take it, Garfield. It's my second favorite show. Coming up next. Standing by yourself. You are the one for me. You're my 
My Child Dolls come in different designer outfits and a real Pampers diaper. New from Mattel. Apple Jacks made with real apples. An appley sweet part of this complete breakfast. Fun to eat an appley sweet. Kellogg's Apple Jacks. They only come out at night. Shine on the neon. Shine on in the dark. The neon. One free in Apple Jacks. The neon. And now, this message. Hey, B, no way a little dude like you is gonna change oh. my ways. It's time you were tempted with the taste of nuts and honey. Hulk Hogan doesn't eat nuts and honey. Did you take this? An unbeatable part of this nutritious breakfast? That's better than a body slam. Undefeated. And still champion. It's a honey oven, it's honey nut Cheerios. Cobra's really tough, you know. And Cobra's up to something better with G.I. Joe. Cobra! Cobra blew up the bridge. Bridge layer to the G. rescue. Yosh, I can look at you. Introducing the new Joe's barbecue and shipwreck. We're gonna stop Cobra this time. G.I. Joe. Astro. G.I. Joe Bridge Layer comes with driver. Or Striker comes with driver. Other figures and equipment sold separately from Hasbro. <laughs> Ryan, got your new cereal. How's it look, Duke? All clear. Go for it. Hit it! Introducing G.I. Joe Action Stars brand cereal, a delicious part of this complete breakfast. Crunchy stars that taste great. So, for all you action stars... Bye, Mom! G.I. Joe Action Stars. You two gonna win, sir? Sure, after this complete breakfast, including my Frosted Flakes, they bring out the tiger in you. Well, I'm trying to live, okay? Okay, yeah. they're good. Cool. Right. You'll show them you're a tiger. Kids, now there's a great place to hide your secret treasures. It's Tony's Treasure Box. Free in specially marked packages of Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. Assembly required. Keebler presents the appealing taste of baked potato skins in a crispy, crunchy chip. Potato skins got baked potato appeal because they're made with potatoes and skins that are real. The Keebler elves make potato skins with real potatoes and real potato skins for a flavor with whole baked potato appeal. Cheddar cheese and bacon, sour cream and chives, tasty baked potato, you won't believe your eyes. They're made with potatoes and skins that are real. Potato skins from Keebler, baked potato appeal. <laughs> Satan's armies push the evil sectors back to the hive. The monster Gnar swallows up Skeeto. Pinsor evens his score with Skulk. But Pinsor doesn't see the giant destructor ball. Is this the end of Dargon's loyal friend? Watch the next episode of Sectors by Coleco. Hidden inside the mask slingshot, there's a mini jet, a control tracker here. Assemble mask, security break. Let's roll, team. Not like flying, boy. Convert vampire. Giant squad. Not so fast, boy. Slingshot engage. Mask vehicles and Boulder Hill each sold separately with a figure. Mask, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Mask, slingshot, and vampire each sold separately. New from Kenner. How rich can you get? You're never gonna know till you've met This young boy, Richie Rich is his name He's rich enough in the rich hall of fame His bank account is as rich as his name That's rich, Richie Rich The Richie Rich Show And now, this message.
We're here at the Crunch of to draw the winners in the Where's the Captain sweepstakes. How's it work, Captain? Millions answered right. The Milky Way was correct. From those entries, 10,000 winners are drawn. Another winner. Congratulations to you too, Captain, for putting the crunch on that. Sogmaster? No one puts the kibosh on the slosh. We'll see, Sogbath. Thanks for entering. Winner's got a letter from me. <laughs> is he gone? Captain Crunch is part of a balanced breakfast. Sometimes grown-ups touch kids in ways they don't like. I was wrestling with my uncle, and it changed. It felt icky. When touching feels funny, it's hard to know what to do. He said I shouldn't tell anyone. If that ever happens to you, say no. No. Then go. Go. And tell someone you trust. Tell. Say no. Then go. And tell. A message from the American Medical Association. <laughs> Hi, Irona. I see you're in the middle of washing Dad's money. Uh, uh. You think maybe you could fix Dollar's baseball uniform? Uh, uh. Thanks, Irona. Are you sure you're feeling okay? Sure. Money. Gotta clean money. Oh, no! Goodness, are we having an earthquake? No, we're having a money quake. Oh, no. Irona must have ground up at least $50,000. What? That's impossible. Irona never... Don't worry, Dad. I'll pay it back for Irona. Thank you, Rich. Poor Irona. I think something's wrong with her circuits. Maybe she's suffering from overwork. It's been years since Irona had a vacation. Uh-uh, Mom. Irona's never had a vacation. That settles it. We'll send her to the robot spa. Robot spa, never. Who will clean the house? Who will do? Don't worry, Irona. We'll get a temporary replacement for you. From Dr. Slick, the new head of my robot factory. Goodbye. Greetings! I'm Dr. Slick with Demona, your new robot maid. Oh, she's terrific. You'll love her. Dr. Slick sure brought a replacement for Irona awful fast. <sighs> hmm, that's even stranger. Dollar never growled at robots before. How do I look, dear? Bow, bow, bow. Shine, shine, shine. Clean, clean, clean. Hmm. There must be a reason why Dollar doesn't like her. I say, put me down, you, you bucket of bones! Dead, dead! I hate dead! Dollar, here is the dinner! That's strange! None of our robots were ever programmed to treat Dollar like that. Mmm, oh, that feels so good. Hmm, what have we here? Looks like a snipped circuit. I'll connect your thingamabob to your doomahickey and you'll be as good as new. Ooh, I feel great. Where am I? At the robot holiday spa, on vacation. Vacation? Oh no, I've been replaced. Let me out of here. Oh, I've got to find out if I've been replaced for good. I must admit, Demona is a demon for work. The gold in all our vaults is so shiny, it nearly blinded me. Oh, dear. And Demona's computer circuits told us exactly how much money we have and where every penny is stored. But I wrote it wasn't programmed for that job. She's a much older model. Oh, dear. So that's why I was sent on vacation. I've been replaced by a newer model. Oh. Right, Richie, but Irona's still the best model. The very best. One Irona is worth a million Demonas. And I'm going to check up on that Demona. There's something fishy about her.
Hmm? I'm Dr. Slick. I'm the designer of Demona, and I've come to check her out. Take her home with the daughter. <clears throat> She's raking the garden path, sir. Come on, Dollar. We're going to check out Dr. Slick. There he is, Dollar. Turn around, Demona. Yes, master. Good girl. Nobody would guess you're also a cash register programmed to steal the riches blind. <laughs> so that's his game. Now we're gonna sneak up and capture that slick slick. By taking a little bit of their money at a time, Mr. Rich will never miss it. Shh. Let's go get him, Dollar. Oof. It's Ricky Rich. We've been found out. Get him, Demona. Uh-oh. Richie's in trouble. Get her, Demona! It's Irona! She's back! And we gotta help her! Huh? Even a little of the rich riches is enough! So long, suckers! <laughs> up, up and away! Help! Let me go! Let me go! Sure, Dr. Slick. Man overboard! Uh-oh, he's got Dollar! Man and dog overboard! Boy, did we miss you, Irona. Then you don't think I'm an old model? Uh-uh, you're family. Oh, oh, I love you, Richie Rich. <laughs> There you are now, back to normal. Hi, are you going to see Santa Claus too? Yeah, I'm going to ask him for a hockey stick and a red truck and a train. And I'm going to ask him for a dolly that cries and roller skates and... And, and boxing gloves and an express wagon and an ant farm. Don't and, be in too big a hurry. Richie got here first. Oh, and I'd like a new sled, new bells for my reindeer, a Learjet, new boots. Get out of my kitchen, you wild and crazy shahound! <laughs> and mind your tongue! What's the problem, Chef Pierre? Oh, Master Richie, I know my cooking is hard to resist, but that doggy dollar, he won't stay out of my kitchen! I'm sorry about that, Chef. He knows he's only supposed to eat one meal a day. <laughs> dollar! Come here, you rascal! <laughs> 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 oh, magnifique, Pierre! Oh, you are the greatest! Cordon Bleu! Grab the roast! Oh, oh. <laughs> Well, hey, now this is what we call an electronic eye, Chef. <laughs> well, how does it work? Work? Well, oh, oh, yes, work. Well, if anyone tries to sneak into the kitchen, <laughs> a bell rings. <laughs> and the sausages run away. <laughs> Dollar, stop that infernal... <laughs> That does it! That leaping lunch hound! Oh, I must move the kitchen where he cannot reach it! Oh, Chef Pierre, how will we get our meal? By parachute, Monsieur Rich. If I cannot keep the doggy away from the kitchen, then I keep the kitchen away from the doggy! I wonder what's dropping in for dinner. Here comes the helicopter. Hooray! I guess Chef Pierre fooled Dollar this time. Mm -mm. Come on, Chef Pierre, I'm starving! Here comes the parachute. <laughs> I 
apologize for serving this junk food, Monsieur Rich, but the doggy have eaten everything else. It's quite all right, Chef Pierre. I still say it is impossible for a doggy to fly. Not for Dollar. He's a bird dog. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you our picture gallery. This one is called the Diamond Mine. It's very realistic. And this one is called the Old Oil Well. And this one is my favorite. It's called Saturday Night Bath. <coughs> Gee, what got into Dollar? And now, this message. The ultimate threat to the universe is here. I am Hordak, and this is my evil horde. Rage! Mantena! Drizzler! Your evil even scares me, Hordak, my friend. The evil horde has no friends. The evil horde, new from the Masters of the Universe collection. All figures each sold separately. Let me out of here! From Mattel. Alan, drink your Ovaltine. It has vitamins and minerals. Oh, do I have to? It's got a new chocolatey taste. I can't get over Ovaltine. It's so delicious now. It tastes fantastic. Wow, it's a whole new scene. I love Ovaltine. I can't get over Ovaltine. I can't get over Ovaltine. The whole new taste you won't get over. I can't get over Also available in Sugar Free. Like I did. A Cheerios breakfast. When you fuel up with a nutritious breakfast like this one with tasty low sugar Cheerios, those O's will help keep you on your toes. Mine, Snoopy. Mine, Snoopy. You're on your toes. That was mine. Mine, Snoopy. With Cheerios. Continue with the Richie Rich Show. Boy, this sure is terrific, Dollar. The sun is shining, the birds are chirping. It's a perfect summer day. I've got a bite. Let's see what it is. And now for the catch. Got him. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh! The pond froze solid in seconds! <laughs> huh? The leaves are dying! A snowstorm in the middle of summer! Come on, Dollar! Something strange is going on! Let's go back to the house! <laughs> Mom! Dad! There's a snowstorm outside! We know, son. It's absolutely incredible. Even our heaters have frozen up. I made some tea to warm you, madam. Uh, by Jove! Ice tea is one thing, but frozen tea? Impossible! Something's fishy. I better check with the estate police. Richie to estate police! We're gonna be completely snowed in any second! What's going on? We're already snowed in, and our police vehicles are frozen solid. There must be some fiendish crook behind this freak weather. Right you are, Richie Rich! It's Dr. Blemish! The scientist turned crook! <laughs> I hope you're enjoying my sudden cold snap, Richie Rich! You won't get away with this blemish. <laughs> That's what you think. You're trapped in your mansion. But I'll be there in an hour to steal you snow blind. You'll stay first, Pretty Rich, and then the world! <laughs> Come on, 
on! We've got to figure out a way to stop him! Shift from tractor trains to ski runners! Here he comes, Dollar! Blemish and his henchmen are after our solid gold statues! We've got to stop them, Dollar! And I have a plan! <laughs> Professor Keenbean's rocket skis will get us close enough to Blemish to put my plan into action! I really pulled a snow job on Richie Rich. <laughs> hmm? Shh! Come on! Just a little closer and we can grab Blemish's freeze ray! Gritty <laughs> Rich! Fool! My freeze ray will freeze you into real snowmen! Not if I can help it, Blemish! Uh oh! Richie's in trouble! I want to look out. That takes care of that hunk of tin, and now to finish Richie Rich. What? Where did he go? He's escaped. Ah, it doesn't matter. Everyone's helpless against my freeze ray. Strip the rest of the estate. Let's go! We've got to save Irona! Blemish's freeze ray has frozen her solid! We've got to get her to Professor Keenbean's lab before her transistors freeze up for good! Uh-oh! The lab door is buried under the snow! Wait a second! Maybe Professor Keenbean's high-intensity flashlight will melt the snow! Oh, oh! Mm. What is it, Professor? Oh, ice in her uh, oscillators. Oh, rust in her resist. Oh, and worst of all, her capacitators are incapacitated. Oh, oh, oh! oh. We'll have to operate. <laughs> Retractor. Movement diode number 999G. <laughs> well, she should be her old self again. <laughs> well, I, I, you, I wonder if the G in diode 999G was for girl robot or for gorilla robot. <laughs> Must be G for Gorilla. <laughs> You'll have to deactivate her and reoperate. Here it is. Diode GR for Girl Robot. Hmm. So it is. Where's that creep in the snowmobile? I'll plow him under. I'll get him. Easy, up. Irona. You blow out your new transistors. It's time to fight fire with fire. Only this time we're going to fight ice with ice with your freeze ray, Professor. <laughs> like cold cash <laughs> and it's all mine <laughs> Thanks to 
Rona and Professor Keen Bean Sauce Cakes, my plan is working like a charm. <laughs> Come on! Dr. Blemish is gonna get a big surprise when we zap him with our ice cannon! Blemish is bound to mistake our ice fort for diamonds and head right for us! Mine! All mine! I'm going to be the richest man in the world! Huh? What's that? Diamonds! It must be a gigantic pile of diamonds! Let's get them! Here comes Blemish and his henchmen! Fire one! Look out! We're being snowballed! Two and three! We're being run for it! Quick, Irona! Load the cannon! They're getting away! <laughs> We give up! Good work, Dollar! <laughs> Uh-oh! Look! Blemish is getting away! <laughs> With my rocket-powered skis, Richie Rich will never catch me! Wrong, Dr. Blemish! The reverse switch on our freeze ray will stop you! I'm not washed up yet! This flood will carry me to freedom! Uh-uh! Wrong again, Dr. Blemish! Looks like you caught three big fish today, Richie. Right, and it'll be a cold day in July before Blemish bothers us again. <laughs> How about this, Dollar? Thanks to Professor King Bean's freeze ray, we can ski in July. And now, this message. This number is the center for missing and exploited children. You call this number if you've been taken away from your parents. Or someone's taking you away from your home. Remember, it's not your fault. And it won't take care of itself, so pick up the phone and ask for help. That's what the center's there for. The number for the center is 1-800-843-5678. That's 1-800-843-5678. Mmm, super golden crisp. Rocks in the box, rolls in the bowl, and the taste is solid gold. All the golden pots of wheat Got a crunch to crisp and mold It's been moving and grooving it Where the taste is solid gold Post Super Golden Crisp Cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast with a taste that's solid gold. Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. 
And now, this message. Just in, Captain Crunch captured by Soggies. We're famous. If you help Free the Captain, you get a chance to win a $100 share of the million-dollar reward in the Free the Captain sweepstakes. Specially marked boxes give you free games with secret phone numbers to tell you which place, which store, which key frees him. Your parents can help you call. Thousands will enter. Answer right, you could be one of 10,000 winners. To enter free, write Free the Captain, Box 3100, Sios of New York, 11775. My kids will get me out of this crunch. I mean, Sog. Weekdays at 3, two hours of red-hot action on Channel 2, starting with the Thundercats, the righteous superheroes of the universe. At 3.30, the battle rages across the galaxy as the amazing Gobots fight for control of Earth. At 4, a real American hero, exciting action with G.I. Joe. At 4.30, futuristic intergalactic combat with the Transformers. Fantastic Adventure starts weekdays at 3 on Channel 2. There's only one, two... You dare summon me, Dekion? Yes, Master. After all these centuries, I have found the circle of power. Is that so? And where might it be? It is forever beyond our reach in the lost tower of the celestial knights. Only one who is pure of heart, one who could be a celestial knight, may enter the tower and survive its test of courage. But since you will never release me from your spell, the circle of power cannot be retrieved. You are wrong, Dekion. I know of six young ones who are pure of heart. Perhaps they can be persuaded to enter the tower for you. I knew it. I knew we shouldn't have come this way. Just keep moving, Eric. Moving where, great leader? We're lost. We're lost everywhere in this world, Eric. That's why we have to stick together. Master. Greetings, young ones. I have news. Ahead of you stands the Lost Tower, and in it, you may find the power to return to your world. Oh, wow! A way back? Really? What's the catch this time, your shortness? To gain this power, you must first overcome that which you fear the most. You must defeat the enemy within yourselves. What does that mean? He's not gonna tell us, are you, Dungeon? <laughs> He's gone! Don't panic, just climb! Boy, Eric, talk about rude! My glasses! Thanks, Sheila. Without these, I can get lost in a closet. What are you waiting for? You heard what Hank said. <laughs> Clyde? Yeah! Eric? Beat it! Fuck off! Let me alone! Ah! Hold it, mister! Turn, huh? Alakazal! Abracadation! I cast you away by teleportation! Huh? Uh, it's for you! It's your mom! I don't think he has a mom! Okay, you bag of bones! Try to pick it on someone my size! <laughs> All oh, right. Then what did you grab me for, Bone Brain? I, I, I merely wanted to talk. Oh, brother. 
At the sight of me, fill your fin with terror. Uh, me too. Me. <laughs> okay, talk. But for now, we'll hold on to your sword. My name is Dekia, and long ago I was a celestial knight, one of a band of mystical warriors. Oh yeah? What instrument did you play? We roamed the skies, fighting the evil forces of this world. Sure you did. The others are gone now, and I fell under the spell of an evil wizard. It turned me into... into this! Yeah. <laughs> Only by regaining the circle of power the Celestial Knight's most powerful weapon. Can I be freed from this spell? But it is locked away in the Lost Tower, which the spell forbids me to enter. Lost Tower? That's where Dungeon Master said we'd find a way home. Ah, stop her, Hank. I think she actually wants us to help this weirdo. I think she wants to help this guy so we can get home, Eric. Any objections? Well, I... I... Whenever you're ready, Dekion. Whenever you're ready, Dekion. Behold, a lost tower. It's so skinny. What holds it up? Magic. The same magic that forbids me to come any closer. Okay, Dekion. Wish us luck. It's luck. Let's go. Wait a minute. It's bigger inside than outside. Now that's magic. Ugh. I shall wait at the ruins to the east. Come on, guys. The sooner we go in, the sooner we go home. You mean if old Bone Breath knows what he's talking about? This place gives me the creeps. Yeah, I feel like someone's looking inside my brain. That shouldn't take long. Let's find this circle thing and get out of here. Bobby, we'll never find her that way. You gotta do something, Hank. Bobby? 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 Hank? Hank? Come on, you guys. Come on, you guys. You know I'm scared of being alone. Presto? Presto? Eric? Eric? Anybody? 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 Sheila? Sheila? You keep an eye on him. I'll look this way. Hank! Huh? Hank's trapped on the other side! I'll get rid of that wall. Sim Sim Sala! <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Genius stuck a tree in the middle of the hallway. Uh, Eric, I think the tree's in the right place, and we're not. Can't get out that way. I've got to find a way back to the others. Maybe up here. And now, this message.
drink in the take along pouch. 10% fruit juice, nothing artificial. There's only one Capri Sun. It's great tasting fun when you punch open one. There's only one Capri Sun. When you get hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System. When you master Rob the Video Robot and meet the challenge of Gyromite. When you shoot the light-sensing zapper. When you play the system with so many arcade hits, you're playing with power. The Nintendo Entertainment System Deluxe Set. Batteries not included. Super Mario Brothers and other games sold separately. There's a secret land of fantasy. Introducing shimmers. Each pair sold separately. The Shimmers. Clover with dapples. Other pairs sold separately. They're new from Kenner. <laughs> I'm sorry if my magic got us into this, Sarah. Face it, Presto, you're a first-class nerd. That's why people are always laughing at you. You know, I'd be scared to walk out of the house if I knew I was going to get laughed at. <laughs> oh, no, I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... <laughs> a nerd! <laughs> this isn't funny, Presto. Help me! Do, do, do something! I'll try. <laughs> Look at the goofy one. Look at his ears. <laughs> quit, quit laughing at me. And that one thinks he's a wizard. Eric, what's happening? What's that behind you? trouble. afraid I'd fail like the... Wait! That's what Dungeon Master meant! We must defeat the enemy within ourselves! The Lost Tower has been attacking us with the things we each fear the most. We gotta refuse to be afraid! Hey, everybody, listen! I figured it out! We're each being attacked by our own worst fears! We gotta fight back! It's not real! Fear is your biggest enemy. Don't be afraid. 
Was that Hank? Yeah, and he's right. Why should I be scared just because I lost my glasses? Who, who cares about your glasses? I lost my whole face. Well, maybe I can find it. that dumb hat like an aircraft carrier. Uh, yeah, uh, Africa Davy, United States Navy. Yeah. I did it. I, I feel better already. Well, you don't look any better. Eric. I'm never going to let my face out of my sight again. Bobby! 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 Diana! Can you hear us? Bobby, listen. They want you to be scared. Don't give in to fear. Yeah, you can beat them. what we came for, the circle of power. Let's go find Dekion. Wait a minute, that's our way home. If we give it to Dekion, how do we know he'll give it back? Dekion? Have you succeeded? Have you brought the circle of power? Do not be hasty, Ranger. Dungeon Master! That would be unwise, Dekion. I will allow the young ones to make the choice. But first, they should know the truth. What do you mean? Centuries ago, the battle-weary celestial knights were betrayed by one of their own, a young knight named Dekion. Dekion was promised a king's treasure in exchange for leading the knights into a trap. Oh, brother! You mean old Bonehead here is a traitor and a liar? Yes, a traitor and a liar. And I have suffered for it. <gasps> He's right, Cavalier. Evil deeds do return to their source. They always come full circle. And their evil will never end until the circle is broken. Listen, I say we dump old Bonehead and use the circle to get home. I don't know. Dungeon Master, what should we do? Huh? I shall make that decision for you. Now, you shall feel the circle's power. You want, Vinger? Release me from your spell! You did not bring me the circle, Dekion. I seized it myself. I owe you nothing. But soon you shall have six more skeleton warriors to keep you company. <laughs> My friend, your courage has shown me what I must do. Still something of the celestial night in you, Dekion? <laughs> Master say. Who cares? No, listen. The evil won't end until until the circle's broken. That's it.
here. Warbirds attack only evil. Wow! He's gonna ride him! Farewell, my young friends. You have helped me break Fenger's evil spell. When I have found a way for you to get back to your world, I shall return! Huh. We'll never see him again, Eric. So long, Dekion, and thanks! I still don't get it. What happened to Dekion anyway? I guess he redeemed himself by taking our side against Venger. That broke his circle of evil and set him free to be a celestial knight again. I'd settle for one night at home again. Yeah! Ah, uh, what do you know? This place is your home. Stupid unicorn. What you say? I said I like my uniform. And now, this message. Someday our bodies will thank us for this workout, sir. I'll let your body speak for both of us. You're just tired because you didn't have a good breakfast like I did. A Cheerios breakfast. When you fuel up with a nutritious breakfast like this one with tasty low-sugar Cheerios, those O's will help keep you on your toes. We make a great team, huh, Marcy? Indeed we do, sir. You're on your toes with Cheerios. Dragon Blaster. One more paralyzing Dragon Blast in. And what? Oh. Freeze, Fisto. Dragon Blaster, Skeletor, Fisto, Roboto, and He-Man figures each sold separately. Roboto, time. Your Dragon Blaster can't stop the most powerful robot in the universe. Oh, yeah! Freeze, Roboto! I said freeze! Dragon Blaster Skeletor, new from the Masters of the Universe collection. Other action figures, each sold separately. From... <laughs> and real potato skins for a flavor with whole baked potato appeal. Cheddar cheese and bacon, sour cream and chives, tasty baked potato, you won't believe your eyes, they're made with potatoes and skins that are real. Potato skins from Keebler, baked potato appeal. Nice ball. You've never seen a ball like this. See? Wow! Pop goes the pop. PC and prize each sold separate. These furry balls are When you won Popple Popple, you let the fun out of the bag. Popple characters come in different sizes and colors. PC and Prize, each sold separately. From Mattel.
Lost City's pretty quiet today. Yeah, guess Big Alice is out hunting. We're still gonna have to watch out for the sleaze deck. Come on, let's get inside before she decides to come back. I thought Big Alice was out hunting today. Well, the first rule of survival is never assume anything. I guess you're right. Come on, let's get down to Enix Cave before she decides to come back. Dad, do you think we'll be able to open the time doorway this time? I don't know. We're just gonna have to keep trying until we do. And remember, keep your eyes peeled for the slee stack. We don't need any more surprises. Come on, okay. let's go. I have to clean up the cave all the time. I miss Comanche. I hope someone's feeding him his oats every day. I'll take horses over dinosaurs any day. It sounds like Dopey. You don't have to hide from me, Dopey. Come on, you can come out. Dad and Will aren't home. I'll be right down. Well, hello there, Dopey. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be with Emily at the swamp? Oh. You know, you're going to get yourself into a lot of trouble wandering around the jungle alone. Grumpy, I'd love to have you for dinner. Okay, you can stay for a while, but no more beeping, all right? Huh? I thought I said no more beeping. The sleigh stack pit is just ahead. I hope they fed it today. Let's just take a look inside and see if there's any sleigh stack around. Dad, are you sure you want to do that? Listen, it's better to check now than to be trapped down in Edict's cave again. Come on. Well, it seems to be a quiet day for everyone. Well, at least we know that there's no slee stack around. Yeah, even the thing in the pit seems to be asleep. <laughs> or full. Oh, come on, let's get down to Enix's place. Holly will be worried if we're gone too long. Dad! I'll hold him off, Will. Now run! Dad, just run! Go on! Oh, oh. Weapons, Rick Marshall. You know my name. We know many things. There is no point in fighting now. We will both be dead soon enough. That is our God, and this is the whole of no return. When he gets hungry, he will come out, and we will both be devoured. Who are you? How do you know my name and my language? We know more than you think, Rick Marshall. You are not the first. Many humans have come here. And where are those humans now? They are gone. Some disappear, some die. Well, I'm not gonna die, I'm gonna get out of here. It would be nice to go on living, yes. But one accepts. Well, I'm not accepting anything. There's gotta be a way to escape from here. It has happened only once. There, you see? How was it done? I do not know. It is only a legend of a thing that happened before the new god was hatched. Dad? Dad! I must have thrown him into the pit. Dad! Are you down there? I'm in the pit, Will. Are you all right? I'm okay, but I'm not alone. What does that god thing look like? 
I'm not down here with the slee stack god. I'm down here with the slee stack. A slee stack? It's okay, he's safe. But we gotta get out of here before that godlike thing gets hungry. But Dad, I have no way of getting you out. Go back to the cave and get that long rope, Will. And hurry! Okay, just hold on, Dad. Just hold on. He will not make it in time, Rick Marshall. The god is already growing hungry. time that thing was fed I do not know I do not take part in the ritual what do they call you I am called Salach do you really think that your son can make it back before the god gets hungry oh he'll make it back okay if he doesn't run into one of your people or Big Alice what is Big Alice she's an Alice Soros that lives outside the city we call her Selima what does that mean it means protector you see we come from eggs Selima protects the eggs from the other animals until we are hatched and can join the others. Let me ask you something. Why are your people hostile towards us? They are trying to protect the only thing they know is theirs. You see, Rick Marshall, my people exist within this city. They know that our ancestors built it, but they do not know how or why. It is the only thing that my people have to make them secure. Those of our people who have ventured across the split in the earth have never returned. And so we stay here and protect what is ours from anyone who tries to intrude. But your ancestors must have been extremely intelligent people to have built all of this. That is true. But our ancestors also became warlike and barbarian. They destroyed each other. Those that remained were the strong and uneducated. And so we are doomed to live the existence we have inherited. But Slatch, if your people are intelligent like you, we should be able to talk to them so that we can all live in peace. That is a problem. You see, my people are not intelligent. But what about you? I am unique among my people. That is why I am here. What do you mean? Every now and then, the genetic traits of our ancestors are born into one of us. I do not know how it happens. I only know that when I came into being, my mind was filled with the knowledge of the universe. Your ancestors must have been geniuses to be able to construct all this. They were very knowledgeable people. That still doesn't explain to me why you're down here in this pit waiting to be eaten by that god thing. It is because of my being born with the traits of my ancestors. My people consider me a freak and therefore a threat to their existence. They have left me here to die as they have all others who have been born like me. Hey, Dopey, how'd you like to play fetch? Good. And remember, you don't eat it. You just go get it and bring it back. You know, Dopey, there's one thing I can say about you. You're definitely not the world's greatest stick fetcher. I wonder how high it is at the top of this pit. It is at least seven meters. If I could get a footing on this wall, we might be able to get ourselves out of here. Your efforts would be useless. We are meant to be consumed by the god. Not if I can help it. I just wish I had some pitons. What are these pitons? Uh, they're small steel spikes that mountain climbers use. We could knock them into the wall and climb out of here. Would these be like the pitons? 
Yes. That might work. It just might work. Hand me that rock. We must hurry if we are to escape. The god is getting hungry. That's all I need to dance. One more dinosaur. Oh. to my chores. I just can't play anymore. It's Grumpy! Run, Doobie, run! Go on, get quick! Holly, are you all right? Is that you, Will? Of course it's me. Who'd you expect? Get the fly swatter and get him out of here. I can't lift him by myself. I know. I'll give him a couple of hot crisps. Okay, but Dad's in trouble. He fell into a slee sack pit, and there's a slee sack down there with him. A slee sack? Hey, Luke, I don't have time to explain. I've got to get a rope and hurry back there. How did Dad fall in the pit? A slee sack pushed him in. Is he okay? Yeah, but he won't be for long if I don't get this rope back to him. I'm going back with you. Oh, no, you're not. You're staying right here. You can't keep me here. I won't let you. Holly, it's not safe. Grumpy chased me here, and Big Alice ran me out of the Lost City, and, and there's slee sack all around. I'm not a baby, and besides, you can't stop me. I won't let you. It'll be safer if you take me with you. Holly, you'll only hold me back. You'll be quicker if I go alone. Besides, Dad needs this rope right now. You have to take me with you. If something happens to you, then I can still go save Dad. You're still staying here. I'm going. It shouldn't be too much longer before we're out of here. We will have to be careful of my people once we are out. They will not understand our helping each other. We call helping one another brotherhood. It's something that all living beings should make a part of their life. Yes, it would be good to have this brotherhood. Hand me another bolt. Oh! Slatch! And now, this message. Let's break for breakfast. Maybe those kids will share their tricks with a jump and gymnast. Having a workout, kids? We're having this good, nutritious breakfast with tricks. Tricks? With those fruit flavors I fall for? Let's see our other tricks. One and two and oranges, lemons, and grapes, I see. The fruit taste of tricks is all for me. Rabbit. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. It never works out. Will you swim up to me? Introducing Sweet Sea and Sea Star. Sweet Sea, you're my sweet baby mermaid. Stay close, Sweet Sea. I'll take care of you. Your hair is so beautiful. You're the princess from the sea. Oh, Sweet Sea. Sweet dreams, Sweet Sea. I'll always be your mommy. Sweet Sea comes with everything you see here. New from Tommy. You want to know a secret about my child? Everyone thinks I'm the best mommy. They say, you keep her so well dressed. His gorgeous clothes make it fun. Sure, I spend a lot of time on her hair, but it's a pleasure. And my child's been standing by herself from the beginning. So I can't take all the credit for being a best mommy. But everybody thinks so. From the wonderful world of my child dolls, each sold separately. Our bus. This is our bus driver. This is fun. Fruit corners through pull-ups. We love a fruit roll-up. Woo! They make a finger flip. Cool. We love a fruit roll-up. We love the let off rip. Let's have more. We have fruit fun. Roll the fruit one. We love the fruit you think they do. We love a fruit roll-up. 
Introducing the great big case of new watermelon fruit roll-ups. Are you okay? I have hurt my leg. Go on without me, Rick Marshall. I am meant to end my life here in the pit with our God. Oh, you must try and make it. It is not possible. It is possible. I'll help you. Now, come on. You are a true friend, Rick Marshall. I thought I told you to wait at the cave. Can I help? All right, but I'm not going to wait for you. You won't have to. I do not believe I can make it any farther. You can't quit now, Slatch. We're almost to the top. It is better for me if I perish here and now. My people have rejected me, and I will have no place to go once I am free. There's a very good reason for you to go on. You must teach your people peace and understanding. You must teach them to better themselves and to live in harmony. That is why you were born with the knowledge that you possess. If you quit now, then you're no better than your ancestors who destroyed this beautiful city and left your people to a barbaric heritage. You are a very wise man, Rick Marshall. I will continue. Oh, no, it's Alice. She won't bother. She's too busy eating. Come on, let's circle around her. We finally made it, Slatch. You are a man of great courage. No. I'm just a man trying to stay alive in a very hostile world, that's all. Yes, that is what it has become. Well, I've got to get back to Will and Holly. Will you be all right? Yes, I will be fine now. You have given me new inspiration. I will try to help my people. I'm sure that you will. Until we meet again. Yes. Until we meet again. Dad, you're okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. How'd you get away from the sleigh stack? Well, it's a long story, but I'll tell you both about it on the way back to High Bluff. Come on, let's go. Quick, back to the pit. The pit. Come on. Quick, move. Slatch! Dad, what do we do now? I don't know, Will. But I've seen enough of that pit for one day. Look, there's a hole over there! Can you see where it goes? No, it's too dark. Well, it's our only way out, so come on. Run! Come on, Yuri! Where are we, Dad? I don't know where we are, honey. This is so thick, I can hardly see my hands out in front of me. It reminds me of when I was down in the pit. Dad, we must have come down at least seven or eight meters. This is spooky. I wish I would have stayed back at the cave. I wish we were all back at the cave, Holly. Dad, look at this. Wait a minute. It's a slee stack crossbow bolt. I wonder what it's doing in the wall. We're at the bottom of the pit. Come on, we've got to get out of here and fast. Yeah, but which way, Dad? The mist is so thick, I... I can't even see where we came in. We'll have to climb out of the bolts that Slatch and I drove into the wall. Okay. Will, you go first and then pull up Holly. Okay, go on. Ah! Will. Will! Will! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm all right. Well, I have the feeling I'm not going to be for long. What are we going to do, Dad? I'll just have to hold him off. But Dad, we don't even know what it is. Oh, I think we're going to find out. Hey, Dad! It's a 
worry about where it came from, Will. Get your sister out of here. Now hurry. Okay, come on, Holly. Hurry. Hurry, quick, Holly. Hurry. Come on. Careful, Dad. Hurry. Do not be frightened, Will and Holly Marshall. How do you know my name? I will explain later. First, we must get your father out of the pit. Are you okay? Dad! Daddy! 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 The rope, Dad! Get the rope! Slatch, you saved our lives. You must leave quickly. My people still must feed the god, and it would be unwise for you to stay here at this time. Yes, but what about you? I will remain here. You must leave. The god grows hungrier. Come on, Dad, let's go. Stop. You will come no farther. Let him go! Let him go! Let him go! Come on, let's get out of here. Slatch, you've got to come with us. Come on, let's... I guess it'll be all right. I don't think any of the slee stack followed us from the city. Hey, I wouldn't be so sure about that. No, no, no. He's okay, Will. This is Slatch. There is no need to be frightened. You must be from Enoch's time. What is an Enoch? Well, Enoch is one of your ancestors that fell through the time doorway by accident. Hey, if you're not from Enoch's time, how come you know so much about us? Oh, he was born intelligent, son. You mean you were just born smart? Yes, I was born with the intelligence of my ancestors. Hey! Then you can help us open one of the time doorways to get us home. That is not possible. So wait a minute. You told me that you were born with the knowledge of the universe. That is true. But for some reason, the operation of the pylons and the matrix are not part of that knowledge. I must be going now. Goodbye, my friend. And thank you. We shall meet again. Have a long life, Rick Marshall. Farewell. Maybe the sleaze stack has some good in them after all. Everything has some good in it, son. All you have to do is just look for it. And now, this message. When you get hold of the Nintendo Entertainment System. When you master Rob the Video Robot. And meet the challenge of Gyromite. When you shoot the light-sensing zapper, when you play the system with so many arcade hits, you're playing with power. The Nintendo Entertainment System Deluxe Set. Batteries not included. Super Mario Brothers and other games sold separately. Once a person discovers new strawberry Newtons, he doesn't want to share them with anyone. No! Silly! New strawberry Newtons. You got a game going. Full of real chewy fruit. Wanna play? Tucked inside a very quiet cookie. Wanna pick? Mm -hmm. Then bring out the Newton's. Delicious Newton's cookies. So fruit chewy you'll want them for yourself. We'll let you win.
if you're looking for laughs and eager for action, come on along. We're heading... Charlie Brown.